Hey everybody, how's it going? So I thought we'd do a quick, uh, quick video on Fusion 360, and maybe doing some um, some cookie cutters. Um, just doing a quick, like a five minute project, designing your own cookie cutter, um, or if you've got an image or something and you want to make a cookie cutter out of it, uh, we'll do it real fast. So I'm not going to go into a lot of in depth. Here's how Fusion works. And we're going to do a step by step because the the point of the little short projects is so you can go step by step and start making something. So. Uh, if you're if you got a lot of experience in fusion, skip it. Right, you you don't. This is probably not going to help you much. Although you might, you know, maybe you'll learn a different way of doing something or uh, whatever you want to do. Um, but if you're a beginner, this this ought to be good for you to get you started at least in doing some modeling in fusion and and making some stuff that you can send off to the printer um, real fast and get some sort of instant-ish gratification. So anyway, my assumption is that you've got Fusion 360 installed from Autodesk uh, and you've got it open ready to go here. You open Fusion, we're going to start a new design. You go File, New Design, and you get your blank workspace. So <coughs> if you have a picture already, uh, great. Uh, you can put it in. You don't have to use a picture. This We're just doing it for this example. Um, but uh, let's, so let's say if you go find some uh, royalty-free clip art, like not free clip art, like you're just gonna go steal something off Google, but like you know royalty-free clip art. If you're if you're if you're gonna resell it, don't don't grab something that somebody else's property. Anyway, um, unless they give you permission, of course. So uh, blah blah blah. Forget I even said anything. You go get a freaking picture. So grab a picture. Uh, you're going to go to insert and uh, attach canvas, and we're going to put it on this face, uh, flat down, and then we're going to select our image. So I've got this little uh, rocket image here. It's pretty easy. Um, I'm going to change my perspective to look straight down over the top of it, and um, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of tweak it up so it's straight up, just because it. It helps me visually to do things. And I'm going to change the opacity here um, to about 50%. So it's a little bit see-through. So as you're uh, drawing your sketch on top or making bodies uh, that extrude um, that image, you know, uh, whether if you've got to extrude down, then it doesn't get in the way. You can see through it. Um, and then hit OK. And then what we want to do is we want to scale this image um, to, to make the cookie cutter. And so cookie cutters are about, I don't know, three and a half, four inches. So we'll call it between you know 80 and 100 millimeters. We'll just do this one at 100 to make it easy. And um, I'm for I'm not going to do the flame just to save some time on the video. But here's what you do. So we, first thing we want to do is calibrate this picture to 100 millimeters. So um, you go over here to your canvas and you right click and you're going to say calibrate. And so the part that's going to be our cookie is the tip to like the bottom of the booster. I'm not going to do the flame. You do whatever you want. I'm not doing the flame. So click there, and so you can see it's, it says it's 13 millimeters now, so I'm going to make this 100. And it goes boom, and blow it up. And so um, so now we've got a 100 millimeter rocket. And so now we're going to do um, a sketch. So first thing we're going to do is a, a, a spline, because uh, the spline uh, handles the curves really nice. It makes it real easy. <clears throat> And it's asking me again where, which face. I'm gonna put it on this face, and we're just gonna go straight up here at the tip, and we're gonna start and start coming down and placing dots. And it does not have to be perfect. It's a freaking cookie cutter. <coughs> you can make it as as perfect as you want, <coughs> but um, we're gonna we're doing this fast, so don't expect mine to be super pretty. And when it gets here to these hard corners, I'm stopping um, because those are straight lines. And if you try and, and now come down this way, that's the thing about a spline is it likes to it's trying to predict your curvature. And so uh, we stop it there. And so now if you want to do a straight line, you just pick a point and go straight, and then stop, and then pick a line, pick a point, and go straight, and stop, and pick that, and go straight. And you can just do a bunch of straight lines if you want. And that's kind of all we're doing at this point. So instead of a spline, just do uh, a connected line. And I'm just going to do that. And <clears throat> not perfect. And, that's, and I'm okay with it. 
by the way. And up this way. And then we're going to connect to that point. And then we're going to stop the sketch. And hopefully, yes, see how it's lighting up? That means we are closed. We don't have any open points, which is what we want. Um, it needs to be all closed up. So then what we're going to do here is um, uh, we're going to make an outline. Because um, you could come back around and do another sketch on the outside of this. That's about the distance you want, but Fusion's got some cool tools to uh, do this for you. So um, you're going to go back over here to sketch and offset. So we're going to offset the line. Um, and I do a lot of, uh, I'm, I'm going to make this 1.2 millimeters offset. And actually I want it to go to the outside. So I'm going to do a negative 1.2, just wherever, whichever way the line's going. Um, you know, if you want it to go the other way, then do negative. And you can tell here I've got a, a gap, so I don't like that. So there we go. So I picked that, so now I've got everything highlighted. So now I'm going to do 1.2. And so now I'm 1.2 offset from my initial design. Hit OK. And so this should now be closed, which it is. Great. And we'll extrude this. So you highlight that. Click extrude, and I'm going to go to the home view here just to change perspective. And you can click and drag up, or you can set a, uh, a height. I usually do mine at about 13 millimeters or so, 13, 14, um, and hit OK. And so now what that's done is given us a body, right? So we have our body, we have our canvas, and we actually have our sketch, which is what we drew, right, on top of our canvas. So we had our, right, if you have a go to the art store and you buy a freaking canvas and then you draw on it and you've got a sketch on top of the canvas and then if you pull it out of the canvas now you have a body so um, so we don't really need the sketch right now uh, not yet not that one we don't and so now what we want to do is make um, a little offset here for the uh, uh, for the booster and the wings and the window that's what we're going to do so the offset is, is going to be just slightly less uh, it's not going to be as tall as the outer shell, right? The part that cuts the cookie. These will be about half the the depth, and so that they make an impression in the dough um, as you go. And so we do want to do what the hell was that? We do want to do another sketch. So for now, what I'm going to do is hide this body, and I'm going to show my other sketch, and I'm going to make a new sketch because I need to sketch the window and the lines here. But I need to, you know, it's all kind of be kind of got to be connected um, to join the body together. Uh, so let's do another spline. <coughs> and we're going to do it on this face. And we want to connect that. And this has a little bit of a curve, which is why I'm doing the spline. See how it's kind of wonky like that? <coughs> it's okay. Hit stop. You don't have to stop it, but I have. And you can just move that. So there you go. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, one more spline. I'm going to do it over here. I'll pick this face. And I'll go about middle and then about here. And I'll go ahead and stop. And now if we do the, um, the offset one more time, we can just pick that line, come over here and do offset. Just that one. And now we can do a 1.2 offset there. And I'm going to have a little bit of a gap, but we'll close that up. So that's closed. So now we need to close this gap here. So I just do a line and connect that and stop. And so now you can tell that that's lit up. So that's good because that's what you want because we need to extrude that little face uh, and join it to our body. And so let's do another one over here. So we're going to uh, offset him. See how it's coming that way? That way? I don't know. You're mirrored. Uh, so 1.2. And it's going the wrong way. So we need to do a negative 1.2. And again, we're on the same problem that this isn't connected down here. So we'll do a quick fix on him. Just make a straight line. Pick that point. And pick that point. <clears throat> and stop. And there you go. We're all lit up. That's all good. And then we'll do one more across the booster here. So we're just going to do a um, straight line. Oh, way to go. Uh, straight line. And we'll pick that corner. 
in that corner, and we'll stop, and then I'm going to hit uh, O for offset. Quick key, hello. <clears throat> Pick that line, 1.2. Okay. And now again, right, we're not connected, so let's let's make a, make a connection. go we should now be connected yep say we're, we're lit up we're all lit up <coughs> and now let's do our window so here we'll just do a circle and uh, oh, I'm gonna do a uh, two-point circle and we'll just go ahead and pick the top and we'll come on down here to the bottom <coughs> and then uh, We'll stop that and we'll offset him. O for offset. And again, we'll go inside, not outside. So negative, what the, negative 1.2. Yeah, that's pretty close. That's about what we want. That's going to be two passes of my 0.6 nozzle, right? Um, without doing a whole bunch of crazy infill and there being a mess all over the place. <clears throat> and so now we've got all of our lines in there. So let's bring our body back. And let's hide uh, our canvas, because we don't really need our canvas at this point. But we do have our lines. So let's uh, raise up the window here a little bit. So we'll pick him, or her, whatever. That one, and that one I'm holding the control key, by the way, to select multiple. And that one, so I've got them all highlighted now. Switch to our home view, and we'll extrude. And we're going to come up halfway. So seven-ish right come up halfway and we're going to say join right you can join cut intersect in this case we just want to join and now we've got two bodies here because we've got everything connected to this outer body and then we've got this standalone little island so you need to connect that so the easiest way to connect that is to draw um, a freaking rectangle on the bottom and then extrude it up and, and connect it all together uh, like a roadway so uh, we go here to the uh, rectangle two-point rectangle tool and again, we want to do it on this on the bottom there. And so we're just going to go from here to there. Stop sketch. And do our home view again. So now we've got right pieces down here. So we're going to pick that one. And control. And pick that one. And um, do I need to do the middle? Don't really need to do the middle. So we won't do the middle. Uh, so now we've got everything around that, and so let's uh, extrude and we'll come up two millimeters. And we're joining, right? We're not cutting. We're not. We're just joining. In this case, we want to join it all together to make one body. Okay. <clears throat> so there you go. Now we've only got one body, and it is everything. Okay. So what I like to do is just sort of um, hit your orbit tool and come around and make sure and you get rid of your sketches and your canvas. Turn all these lights off. And uh, just make sure you don't have anything when you you know you send it to the print bed. You're gonna need something stupid like support for a cookie cutter. Um, cause you don't need it. And then you can tell here that so your your tall wall is 13 or 14, however thick your cookies are gonna be, and this is about half the distance just to make an impression. And if you want to measure, you can right. So use your inspect tool, your measure one, and you can pick um, you can pick a line here. All right, and that's six. So let's let's do this line. Why? Okay, let's do a point. That point to that point. Y'all, you, know, you stupid. Do uh, that point to that point, and it's telling me it's 13 millimeters tall, which is good. It's what we told it to do. And then let's do another measurement from that top line to that bottom line, and that should be seven, which is good. That's what we told it to do. Um, so at this point, you are set. That is your rocket ship um, cookie cutter with a, um, a slightly um, odd-shaped nose. Like, this thing ain't going to fly. Anyway, but uh, but you get it. It's, it's, it's super easy to do cookie cutters. Now all you have to do at this point is so save it. Uh, rocket cookie cutter, right? Um, and then you want to send it, get it ready to send off to your printer. So you need to make an SDL out of it. So uh, easy, all you have to do is go to make. And you need to pick what you want to send. So you can either pick 
this or you can pick this they do the same thing and you can sell here it's a it calculates all of the the triangles and the facets whatever you can choose your refinement your refinement high medium or low it just changes the number of triangles um, cookie cutter don't matter do whatever do whatever you want uh, and then you want to output it and I just output it to an STL file and I just go save it somewhere <clears throat> and then I import it into like idea maker so hit okay and then ask you for a save location uh, name it rocket whatever you want to do hit save and you're done that's it um, pretty simple um, so again right the, the easier process too like so if you if you've got an image in your head you don't want to attach a canvas and do, then don't just start a sketch pick your bottom face and start sketching to your heart's content um, and that's it that's all you're gonna do uh, so anyway hope, hope you learned something thanks a lot and uh, and uh, talk to you next time